Yeah, Brian, as you said, this is a very small community. Less than 900 people live there. But today, everyone from the town was out cleaning up the damage from last night's storm. Chainsaws roar as people clean up the debris scattered throughout the town. This is always a quiet town. I ain't never seen nothing like this before. Mike Hugh helped his dad remove the tree that fell in their yard. People just pull together around here. It's a small town. Almost everybody knows everybody. Michael Hugh said when he and his son are done here, they'll go help their neighbors. Oh yeah, very nice community. Help you out any way they can. There is a lot of work to be done. Still a lot of trees everywhere. Now, this is the baddest I've ever seen. 70 mile an hour winds tore through Francisville Saturday night. It was black from the sky to the ground. I told the old lady I thought we was walking into a, or driving into a tornado. The storm damaged almost every house in the town. Hugh says he was one of the lucky ones. The house is fine, everybody else is fine, just trees on the ground. Hugh knows the damage could have been a lot worse. The business right next door to his house got hit the hardest. All that's left now is a pile of rubble. Hugh can only imagine what would have happened if it had been his house. This house wouldn't be here. It'd be on the road or across the field. People here say they are fortunate no one was injured, and they are ready for their small town to return to its normal, quiet self. People have been out clearing the debris since last night. Now the town is still without power, so crews have been hauling the wood out of town and showering there. Reporting in the newsroom, Rachel Glazer, ABC 57 News.